allowed to come. No one will listen to him. But this is a guy who supports terrorist outfits like Antifa. And lies. He supports He's now going Islamist level, persecution he? of Christians. Do, Do you condemn Antifa? Do you condemn Antifa? Do you condemn Antifa? Do you condemn Antifa? Do you condemn these martyrdoms? Do you condemn these martyrdoms? Answer the question. Do you condemn these martyrdoms? This is the left. They are not able to debate. They are not able to make argument. All that they do is spread hatred. The police, the police want us to stay clear of the crowds. And we owe it to them because they're having a difficult day to try and not add to their problems. But today, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, is Halomas. Halomas, everyone says Happy Halloween. Halloween is the equivalent of saying Christmas Eve. It comes from Hallow's Eve. So when you say Happy Halloween, you're saying the equivalent of Happy Christmas Eve. Doesn't make much sense when you think about it like that. But Halomas, Halomas is the celebration of the saints. And so what I want to talk about today, ladies and gentlemen, are the saints. Stand, please stand back, maintain a distance. I want to talk about saints and martyrs who have stood against Islam and who we should remember in the struggle against Islam. So when I say the saint's name, hello. I'm two meters distance. And, and I, but it's, 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 as a gathering, please could you take it elsewhere? Just because it's going to get confused with what's going on over there as well. Yeah. All right. We want to protect you. We want to protect everybody. We understand that you are social distancing. Um, however, the group isn't. Okay. So please take it elsewhere where it's a little bit better for them to social distance and they're not within the six meters, right? The problem is you've got you've got a group that is around you listening yeah. to you. In effect, it's you organising this group. Okay. Okay. So as well as preaching. Which obviously is six or more people, you've actually all passed the event, which is more severe, okay? Okay, right. So, so how do you have your. Yeah. You want to go into the park or you want to go into the street? I mean, I've you literally moved the away from all of those people. I know, it's still quite close though. We're trying to disperse that incident in particular. But I can't force these people not to follow. I'm sure if you went elsewhere, they would. <laughs> They're listening to All right. you, they'll go okay. elsewhere, Where would you like me to move so that I am compliant with what you're asking me to do? Sorry, say that again. Where would you like me to move so I am compliant with what you're asking me to do? Uh, away from here. You can stay in the park, go elsewhere in the park. If we go the other side of the railings behind the tree? Uh, Are you still going to be in the group that you're at, near to this group here? If we can go well, away I mean, from I'm this group, if we can go away from this group, a considerable distance away from this group, that would okay. be helpful. Right. All right. Yeah. yeah. And somewhere where the rest of your group can socially distance effectively. On the field. But they, you like new officers keep... are at that moment. Come on, you're uh, social Unfortunately, distance. that's the risk that we do have to... Okay, guys, I've been asked to move by the police. So I'm going to move over there. Please, I'm asking you not to follow me. I'm asking you not to follow me. Just look it up on COE and SoCo Films. I, 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 that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's brilliant work, my friend. Brilliant. Hey, the builder, tell him, tell him that you said it in order of what, what channel's the best. Um, well, the, the, the best channel is Soko Films. The second best channel is Content Over Everything. COE, otherwise known as the Church of England. Bob needs to go take his shit. Battery chain. You need to go take his shit. Battery chain. Battery chain. You haven't answered my question. I have answered your question, you just didn't listen. The, the guy, you'll, you'll recognize it because I, I said who he is, so you'll know to blur his face. Okay. So, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the saints. So I've moved away. I, I've asked the people not to follow me. I can't control who follows me. Just in case they follow me and the police decide to act and he goes to court. Like, I've literally said, don't follow me. And that's on record. What, why do you think they're imposing these legislations now, Bob? They're, they're, apparently, until five o'clock, we were allowed to be at the park, and then from six, everybody leaves the park. They're, 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 it's because there's too many people here, because of what's going off. So what I want to talk about, you're looking for SoCo Films or COE. All oh, right, brilliant, sister. Okay.
<laughs> so let, let's just talk about what I want to talk about because it's All Saints Day. Today is the 1st of November, 2020. And I want to talk about the saints and the martyrs who opposed Islam in their own days. Because for us to win this struggle as Christians, we must remember the champions that went before us. In the book of Hebrews, in chapters 11, the Apostle Paul recites the great number, the great litany of the champions of the faith who stand, who stood uh, against their, their particular challenges at their times in their life. And he goes on in chapter 12 of Hebrews and he says, Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which is so easily entangling us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. So, these are the clouds of witnesses that stood against Islam in their own day. And we must remember these witnesses. We must remember these saints because these saints and these witnesses are to us the inspiration, the people, the forerunners who stood against Islam before as we stand against Islam today. And they are also witness to the brutality and the injustice of Islamic Sharia law. So let's start by remembering St. Peter of Damascus, whose feast day is celebrated on October the 4th in some churches and the 9th of October in others. His story was recorded by St. John of Damascus in between 675 and 749. He lived, his death happened somewhere between 741 and 775. He was arrested by the Umayyad Caliph Al-Walid II, who was the son of Caliph Hisham. They cut out his tongue and banished him to Arabia for preaching the Christian faith and for refuting the doctrines of Islam. He was banished to Arabia Felis. Eventually, he was re-arrested because he continued to teach and practice the Christian faith. They tortured him, they crucified him, they beheaded him. This was all from an Islamic court for teaching that Muhammad and Islam were false. And we wonder why we see Christians being persecuted in Muslim majority countries. They were doing it from the very beginning. Another example is that of the princes David and Constantine, both of whom are acclaimed as saints. When Marwan bin Muhammad, the deaf and the blind, as he was called by the Armenians and the Georgians, was invading a Christian country, Georgia, Georgia princes David and Constantine led a Christian host into battle at the Battle of Persati Mountain. The Christians won the battle and put the Muslim army to flight. But that didn't stop Marwan ibn Muhammad, the deaf and the blind, returning with a larger army. He met the Christians again in battle at the Battle of Argveti. The Christian princes were both captured in the battle. Both David and Constantine were tortured by Marwan to make them leave their religion. They were beaten. They refused and remained steadfast in the faith. Marwan then attempted to bribe them to convert to Islam, but they refused to embrace Islam, declaring their faith in the one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So Marwan decided to starve them and beat them and then he had them drowned in the river on October the 15th. We Christians must remember these martyrs. Another Christian that we should remember is Abu. Abu was a Muslim who for other reasons not known was forced to flee his own Islamic lands and ended up as a 
Muslim soldier serving in Georgia under a, the Christian ruler, Cartinensis. He learned the Georgian language and he learned about the Christian faith in sincerity and then was converted to the Christian faith. After a period of exile with the Christian ruler Cartinensis, to whom he remained loyal, he went on to evangelize Muslims and which exhorted the anger of the Muslims. He was arrested in December of the year 785. He was briefly released, but then was rearrested by the Muslims after the fact that his apostasy was come to light. So because he had abandoned Islam, he was rearrested. He was offered bribes to return to Islam, but refused, showing the sincerity of his conversion. He was shackled and then he was executed through the practice of beheading. Other examples of saints that stood against Islam. Saint John and Saint Adolphus, two brothers who lived under the Islamic occupation of Spain, were residents of Sevilla. Seville, Sevilla. Their father was a Muslim, their mother was a Christian and they were raised as Christians by their devout mother. During the persecutions of that dog, Caliph Abdul Rahman II, who persecuted the church, both brothers were martyred by beheading on September the 27th, 850 AD. Their crime was that because their father was a Muslim, they were deemed to be Muslims who had apostatized from Islam. Another example of the saints who suffered under Islam was Saint Perfectus, a priest of Cordoba, Spain, during the Islamic occupation. He was challenged by Muslims to speak his own opinions on Islam, understanding that giving these opinions could lead to him being punished, he refused. But the Muslims promised that there would be no harm and no report made against him if he gave an honest answer. Considering these promises to be genuine, he gave his answer and condemned Muhammad for seducing his adopted son's wife and thus committing adultery. He was allowed to leave, but a week later, the Muslims betrayed their oaths and reported him to the Islamic authorities. He was tried for insulting the Prophet and was beheaded on the 18th of April, 1850 AD. Another example was Saint Sancho, a Christian soldier who was captured during the wars by Christians to liberate Spain from Islamic occupation. Whilst he was under arrest, he denounced the Islamic occupation of Spain and critiqued Islam. He was offered bribes to convert and were refused. He was tortured and eventually he was impaled to death by a stake being driven through his body on the 5th of June, 851 AD. Another example was Saint Abundius, a priest and an evangelist in and during the Islamic occupation of Spain. Because he had dared to evangelize Muslims, he was put on trial. He was offered the chance to embrace Islam. He refused and he was executed by beheading on July the 11th, 854 AD. Another example 
Another example was Saint Helios of Heliopolis, a Christian carpenter from a humble background in the time of the Abbasid Caliphate. During this time, Christians were persecuted and treat as second-class citizens, forced to wear particular clothes that identified them as Christians, much like the Nazi Germans forced the Jews to wear yellow stars. Christians were forced to wear yellow belts so that they could be identified as Christians. Saint Elias was invited to the family party of his employer. His employer was a Christian apostate who had converted to Islam. During the party, Saint Elias was convinced to remove his yellow belt so that he could dance more freely and eat more food. Unfortunately, this was symbolic of renouncing Islam and adopting Christianity. He fell asleep and when he awoke on the next day, he put back on his yellow belt and began to pray as a Christian. His Muslim hosts accused him falsely of apostatizing from Islam. He was forced to flee his homeland as a teenager until his family sent word back to his own back to him that it was safe to return to his home city because talk of the scandal had died down some years later he returned and opened his own shop making saddles this put him in direct competition tell me when you want me to in direct competition with his former employer I'm just going to stop for a battery change. Like Antifa that this guy supports. A bit like Antifa that this guy supports. A terrorist outfit. He supports Antifa. He is a supporter of a terrorist movement known as Antifa. So, he was accused falsely of apostasy. Sorry, why, why? Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Preaching hate against Christians. Ignoring the martyrdom of Christians. So, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen, he wants to be on camera because no one will listen to him. No one will listen to him. He's allowed to No one will listen to him. But this is a guy who supports terrorist outfits like Antifa. And lies. He supports He's now going Islamist level, persecution he? of Christians. He's now glorifying lies so, as well. Now let's look how you at the life of St. Elias Heliopolis to it. and celebrate Lovely our Jesus. Christian history and our Christian champions. Notice, do you condemn these Let's martyrdoms? Do you condemn these martyrdoms? That's what he does. Answer the question. Look at these people. Do you look condemn these people. martyrdoms? I'm going to hate them. Do and you the condemn these martyrdoms? Look like me. Do I'm you condemn these well. martyrdoms? He was here Why are you quiet? Three weeks ago. Why are you silent? Why are you silent? Why are you silent? Why are you silent? You Why are you silent? Three weeks ago. Do you condemn these white. martyrdoms? Christians are scum. Do you more condemn the martyrdoms Christians of Christians? Like him. Do he you condemn? Christians. Islamic he is kingdoms he for killing he Christians. Christians. Notice his silence. Oh yeah. Notice his silence. He didn't answer the question. He, he didn't answer the question. Do you condemn he Muslims for killing Christians here? And that's what he Do you uses. condemn Speakers Muslims corner. for killing Christians here? He comes here? I've given you countless head. examples. And why? No answer. And that's the left high. for you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, that's the left for you. Yeah. These people that incite violence it? through Antifa he like he's him. doing. Yeah. What do they do? They are blind to faith. these crimes of Islam. So let us talk about no, no, another one. It so anything. ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to move away from these people. 
So if you want to listen to me, follow me. Okay? If you want to listen to them, stay here. Yeah, let's follow him, Bob, the destroyer. Because speaker's corner wouldn't be speaker's corner if we didn't have That's me, Mr. Brown. And somebody else. Don't listen to you. Okay. Well, you can walk away, sir. Thank you very much for your advice. Do you condemn the apostasy laws of Islam? This man. Do you condemn the apostasy laws of Islam? 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 How he hates Muslims. JC, this is the left. They are not able to debate. They are not able to make argument. All that they do is spread hatred. All that they do is incite violence. That's all he's got. This is a man who supports a terrorist movement called Antifa. Do you condemn Antifa? 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 I'm Muslim. Do you condemn Antifa? That is not what Okay, let's try and move away again. I'm trying to move away from this guy. He keeps following me. Let's move over here. JC, have you got an umbrella? Yeah. Under the tree. So let's try and continue. Christians, do you want to remember your history? So I'm going to try and press on because this coward of the left, this coward of the left, who is has refused to condemn Antifa has refused to condemn the apostasy laws. Guys, please just watch, please spread out. Spread out. Listen to the lefty. Two meters. To do what we're told when what we do. I've tried to move. I've moved several times. I'm not organizing anything. Okay, I'll move on again. Guys, don't follow me. Okay, don't follow me. We're just six feet away from you. Stay away. Yes, sir. I'm not organizing. I have there is sent a 10,000 pound fine for you if these people continue to film you. I have told them. Do you understand what we've just said? If these people, they... More, yep, so, what, what, so, right. so what we're saying is we can't film? In the park. If these people keep following you, I've asked them not to follow me. They are still following you. How can I stop them though? It's a free park and a free country. We, we can find you ten thousand pounds for that. No, you got to find me. Can, no, then you can look at it at court. All right, it's entirely up to you. I can do that for you now. What? Uh, we we'll go on to our BCU commander, and we say there's a gentleman who's got a following in the park, a gathering of more than six. Right. Okay, I'll go home. He's speaking. Yeah, I'll go home. He's the organizer. He gets fined ten thousand pounds. I will go home. The option is to leave the park now. Uh, right. right. Okay, I'll leave the park. Thank you. Can you do that on your own, please? On your own. I can't stop people from following me, bro. Like, you're stating the unreasonable. I'm stating what the law is. Stop it. I know what the law is, but you're, 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 you're trying to hold... I am complying. I'm leaving as you have asked me to do. But you're accusing me of getting people to follow me when I've told them not to follow me. How, how is that my fault if they follow me? How is that my fault, though, if they follow me? So I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Suppose he stakes it out. Okay. Says you. Yeah, so before we go. Yeah. I gotta go, bro. I gotta go. This man is talking about the profit. Right, let's go, let's go. I've gotta go.
Well, I get you.